Hi guys, so this topic is about remote user authentication principles, mutual authentication and one-way authentication. Introduction to remote user authentication. Remote user authentication is a process that verifies the identity of users accessing a system remotely. It is crucial for protecting sensitive data and ensuring a secure access to the systems. Various methods and principles um, guides the implementation of effective remote user authentication. Next, we have importance of uh, authentication. Authentication ensures that only authorized users can access to specific resources. It helps to prevent unauthorized access and potential security breaches. Strong authentication methods enhance overall system security and user trust which is very important in um, authentication purpose. Types of authentication. There are various types of authentications, including um, one-way and mutual authentication. Each type has its own use cases and security implications. Understanding these types is essential for implementing effective security measures. Some um, best authentication methods include SMS, email codes, voice, password, fingerprint, face recognition. This all comes under uh, authentication method. One-way authentication overview. One-way authentication involves the user proving their identity to the system. The system does not verify its identity to user in this process. This method is commonly used in scenarios where the user identity verification is sufficient. How one-way authentication works. The user presents credentials such as a username and password to the server. If the credentials match, the user gains access to the system. The server does not uh, provide any confirmation of its identity to the user. Use cases for one-way authentication. One-way authentication is suitable for applications where user identity is a primary concern. It is often used in web applications and online services. However, this method may leave users vulnerable to the man-in-the-middle attacks. Limitations of one-way authentication. One-way authentication lacks protection against impersonation of the server User may not know if they are communicating with a legitimate service. This can lead to security risk if malicious actors exploit the vulnerability. Introduction to Mutual Authentication Mutual authentication ensures that both the user and system verify each other's identities. This process enhances security by preventing unauthorized access from either party. It is uh, particularly important in sensitive environments where trust is essential. How mutual authentication works. When the user and the server exchange credentials to confirm identities, this often involves uh, certificates or cryptographic keys to establish trust. Once mutual verification is complete, a secure session is established. Use cases for mutual authentication. Mutual authentication is vital in financial transactions and sensitive data exchanges. It is commonly used in corporate environments and VPN connections. Protecting both parties adds an extra layer of security against potential threats. Advantages of mutual authentication. Mutual authentication significantly reduces the risk of man-in-the-middle attacks. It ensures that both parties are who they claim to be before proceeding. These methods foster greater trust in system communications and data integrity. Challenges of mutual authentication. Implementing mutual authentication can be more complex than one-way methods. It requires additional infrastructures such as public key infrastructures. Users may face increased friction during the authentication process. Authentication protocols overview. Various protocols facilitate um, remote user authentication including OAuth, SAML and Kerberos. These protocols define how user and system communicate during uh, authentication. Selecting the right protocol is crucial for uh, achieving desired security outcomes. 
auth protocol auth protocol is a widely used protocol for enabling third party application access to the user accounts it allows users to authenticate without sharing their passwords and with the application this enhances security by minimizing the risk of credential theft saml protocol security assertion markup language enable sign in on capabilities it allows users to authenticate once and gain access to multiple services saml is particularly useful in enterprise environments with numerous applications kerberos protocol kerberos is a network authentication protocol designed to provide secure authentications it uses tickets for se uh, secure communication between clients and services. Kerberos is commonly used in corporate networks and Active Directory environments. Best Practices for Remote User Authentication Implement strong password policies and encourage the user of uh, multi-factor authentication. Regularly update and patch authentication system to protect against vulnerabilities. Educate users about the uh, importance of the security practices and awareness. Future trends in remote authentication. The rise of biometrics is changing the landscape of user authentication. Artificial intelligence is being leveraged to improve authentication mechanisms. Continuous adaptive authentication is becoming more popular for enhanced security. Conclusion Remote user authentication is a critical component of cybersecurity. Understanding the differences between one way and mutual authentication can guide implementation decisions. Adopting best practices and staying informed about trends will enhance security efforts. Thank you.